What's up guys, T-Rom here, I'm bringing you a quick little tutorial today on how to sync gunshots in After Effects. So I'm going to start off real quick, I'm going to go ahead and, I've got After Effects open up, I'm going to create a new composition. So I'm going to go ahead 1280 by 720 because i got an HD clip, 59.97 frames per second. So I'm make it a 30 second long clip. Go ahead and create that. So right here I've got my clip I'm going to be using to sync with, it's a 5 man feed in COD 4. And then I've got the music I'm going to be using. It's Blue Shift. Some of you may have heard it before. So go ahead and drag those both on my composition. So if you play through the clip really quickly, you can see that I got some shots to sync up with. There's just the first one. Now we're going to be go. Let me just shut this layer off real quick. Because what we really need to focus on is finding the points you want to sync with in the song. So if we go ahead and just play through the song quickly, I'll turn that up for you then you can find out the points you want to sync with. Now there's not a whole lot in the beginning here so I'm just going to go ahead and shift the song down a little bit. And if I play it again let's see, sorry one second let's try that right there you can see there's kind of some points we'd want to sync up with in the middle there it's kind of got a repetitive rhythm that we're going to want to hit with our shot. So a quick little thing you can do in After Effects is I'm on a Mac obviously but if you go ahead and do control and 8 or the multiplication key whatever you want to call it it creates a little marker. So basically we're going to want to go through the song and go ahead and create a little marker every point you want to sync it with. So I'm just going to undo that really quickly but let's just play through this really quickly. And see right there I'll just want to Let's see, it's so like right there. So I do Control and eight key. Now let's keep playing. And then there's one right there. See, if you just as you're playing through, if you hit the key as it's going, it won't show. But once you finish playing through, there'll be the marker there. So I'm just gonna go ahead and mark a few. So there you go, I'm going to delete that second one right there, but as you can tell, I've got a few shots or points in the song that I want to sync up with, right? So let me just go ahead and re-enable my clip layer. And I shut off the audio in the layer because it kind of distracts from the song. And I also have, let me just import this really quickly. I have the sound effect from the M4 the A3, which I'm going to put on after I sync the clips. So you can have the actual gunshot, but then you won't have the distracting music from or the sound from the game sorry so I've got my points in my song I want to sync up with so now let me go find out where the first shot is so the actual shot and if we zoom in really closely we can find the actual frame where the shot takes place right there so we're going to want to drag that point right there back to the marker and line that up now let's go ahead and check if that looks good and that looks pretty good to me. So now let's just go ahead and preview that out really quickly. So uh, that should be good. Enough. See now, and you got the shot synced up, but there's no sound yet. And we're gonna do that after we get all the syncing done. So now we gotta find the next shot, which is right there. And we're gonna want to get that to be right at this point where the second marker is. So we're gonna go ahead. And first what we're going to do is going to go after this shot, after that finishes, and we're going to go and split that layer. It's Control Shift D, or Command Shift D on a Mac. So I'll split the layer. And then we're going to want to go speed it through up until before the second shot, which is right, we'll just say right there. And then we're going to split the layer again. So now find where the next shot is, the actual shot. Let's zoom in again really closely. And it is right, uh, right there, right there. Sorry, let me just try to find the exact one. Let's go with right there. That's pretty good. So we'll zoom out, and then we're going to drag that over to the second marker and line that up. So let's just play through that really quickly. It's pretty good. 
So now you've got this empty space here, right? You got this black space, and you're gonna want to fill this. So we're gonna stretch this clip to fill the gap. So what you want to do is you got the layer selected that you're gonna want to stretch. You get a layer, time, and time stretch. Now we're gonna want to make it fit the entire space here. So if you just want to cancel this one second, we're gonna find the exact time we need. So we need it to go from this is gonna be let's find the start point of this clip right there that is the 53rd frame one second in 53 frames so we're going to want to go from that point to four seconds 47 frames so you're going to want to subtract the difference between those two which will be let's see that's like two oh no sorry 250 Four ish. So I'm trying to do this well, think about it at the same time. So we're going to act a layer, time, time stretch. So let's say we want it to be 253. Alright, that's pretty close, maybe off by one or one frame. Alright, so you can go ahead and layer, time stretch, change it again. Let's do 254. So that'll fit right there. So if we zoom back out, and we preview this out. Give it one second to go through the preview and get that all smoothed out. And just uh, hold on one second while it loads up. Alright, now let's watch this again. Sorry, watch this really quickly. See? And there you go. You got that clip synced up. And then you've got this little bit of slow motion here. And there's some things you can do if you want to add a little bit, like make it a little smoother. You can always turn on some blur. You can turn on some frame blending. But that just adds an unnecessary render time. And this one, it looks okay. If you got a high frame rate, you don't really need that. But then you just go ahead and then we'll find the next shot in the clip, which is right there. And we're going to right go start again right after this shot. We're going to go ahead and split that layer. Control Shift D, Command Shift D. Go right before the next shot. And let's see, right, we'll go right about there. And split the layer again. And go ahead and find where this gunshot is right there. And we'll go ahead and drag that layer to the next marker. And then you just got to calculate again how much to stretch that. So let's zoom into here. And that's at, what is that at? 554. And the end needs to be at, needs to be at 843. So that's going to be. Three, let's say 351. I'm pretty. I'm oh, sorry, 251. 351, whatever. Time stretch that. So we'll say, yeah, sorry. 351. Oh, sorry, I overshot it. Sorry about the math there. Let's say 251. <sighs> there we go. <laughs> Flip flopping in my head. But yeah, okay, so that's two s frames too long. So let's just go ahead. Cut that down by two frames. So 249. There we go. So now we got that stretched to cover up that gap right there. Slow motion, right? And then it'll get the shot synced up again. And we'll just ram preview this out one last time to show you. <coughs> and we'll just be syncing up that shot. And you can do this throughout the entire clip. You can sync up as many shots as you need. Stretch it out to do whatever. Give this one more second. Sorry. Let's just see. And I messed up a little bit on that one, but you get the general idea. And then you can go ahead and take your sound effects for the actual gunshot. And go ahead and throw those on where you 
have the shots because there's no sound for the actual shot and that's kind of half the effect right so we'll just throw this on and it kind of leads into the shot a little bit so maybe you want to overlap but yeah I'll just show you this first a little bit real quick watch this and then you basically you're just trying to realign it get it perfect however you need it to be so that it matches up exactly And you can mute that a little bit, kind of turn it down so it doesn't distract too much from the music, but you still have it there. And that's basically the idea. So you're just kind of stretching the gaps between the shots, marking the point that you need to hit it up with, and then you're good. So that's it for this tutorial, and thanks guys for watching. And like, comment, subscribe, whatever, you know the deal. And see you next time.